Hello everyone, welcome back to my Artsy Buttercup channel where I plan on sharing my art journey and the projects that I'm working on. In this video, I'm going to talk to you guys about the journey of building my Artsy Buttercup gallery shop. Not a complete journey because I'm still working on it there's a bunch of things that I still need to update on the website but I wanted to talk to you guys about the process on how I actually got there I knew I always wanted to have an art portfolio and that's how artsy buttercup started I wanted to showcase my art and I figured why not do it under the name of artsy buttercup because that's my brand name mm, I don't know why I did that that's actually my brand name and that name came from brainstorming with one of my friend Marcelino. If you're still watching and if you're still alive, hello. Look at you. I'm giving you a shout out right now. <laughs> anyway, I might delete this. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, but it was over the phone and I and we were like going back and forth and we settled with Artsy Buttercup and I love it. And I've been using that name ever since. But yeah, I went through many phases. So I had like the first phase, which is this look so this was inspired by me viewing many art portfolios on which platform it's a adobe platform uh at a behance behance platform and i saw a bunch of people do like a whole like a very long page which is usually one image or like a whole scroll down of like sliced image if that makes sense um but yeah so i wanted to do something similar to that and that's how this layout came about beginning you see a portfolio and a little bit of about myself um my email address like way to contact me was listed there and then as you scroll down you see the branding because i also wanted to come up with a branding for artsy buttercup such as the logo um fonts and i knew that artsy buttercup i wanted it to be very fun and exciting and very colorful so i went with like very saturated colors such as yellow i love a good orange i love a good red i also wanted it to reflect the things that i like because that artsy buttercup is part of me it's like me coming to life and the logo itself is when i was bald headed and i kind of drew myself and yeah artsy buttercup is like a version of me and i wanted as much as myself poured into that branding and what you're seeing right now is me coming up with the branding how it's gonna look like if i'm let's say printing a document that's like limited with colors so it can be black and white so i had like a logo version that's like you know just black and then i also had like a colorful version which is like the logo symbol itself which is the face and then artsy buttercup which is the typography and yeah and then from there you get to see how the brand comes to life such as business card email template little postcards like a web layout like a rough web layout and yeah and as you keep scrolling down you actually see the logo in different forms such as the full logo which is the primary logo fonts and the you know the symbol i also did like a secondary logo which as you can see at the bottom those two were secondary logos where you can use it on emails or other template where it fits and then the single color logo such as an all white logo and an all black logo that's just if i'm doing a collaboration with another company i'll most likely use these type of logos or maybe the secondary logo um or if i'm printing on paper that's black and white i will most likely use either or and then these were the colors that i was thinking of using but as you're looking as i'm looking at it the colors were very saturated they didn't they go well together and how you get the orange is the mix of yellow and the red that gives you the orange but for some reason i didn't add the orange and then the font is still the same which is the dina puff font but am i a dina puff font i think it's dina puff font and then as you keep scrolling down i added some of my illustrations and yeah so that was the first layout that i come up with for my art portfolio 
and as you can see it's very basic very simple and i did like it i did like it i put it together using uh, a mixture of procreate because that's where i actually created my logo and then i also use um adobe xd to actually pull everything together um yeah so that was earlier this year so i want to say q1 of this year that's what my portfolio actually looked like I started asking feedback from my friends, from my family, and my friends and family, they all loved it. They said, oh, amazing, blah, blah, blah. And then I showed it to some of my um, graphic designers and they did like it because they saw it as more like a branding for Artsy Buttercup, not actual, they didn't fully see it as an actual portfolio, but I wanted it to be a portfolio. And that was great feedback because they were seeing it as something else not what i wanted them to see it as that's why in q2 i decided to take a different approach and i designed this layout At the beginning you see the portfolio and you see an imagery and as you scroll down you see an introduction like an intro section which talks about me and how you can connect with me and then on the third section i put the brand that's where you will click on that section and it will take you to the branding on how i came up with the logo the the, the color the color palette and the typography and then on the fourth section it gives you a rough branding idea of the website which is the logo um logo variation blah 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 this section it shows you how everything comes together in terms of branding and i was still doing the same thing but just displayed in a different layout i do prefer this layout more because it gave me like it gives the my audience like a overview of the brand and how the brand comes together um however it was still not displaying how what i wanted it to be i just i think i was so focused on creating the brand and i wanted to showcase the brand that i kind of missed the mark on it being an actual portfolio and after reviewing many other art portfolio it finally clicked that okay so what i'm doing right now is actually branding it's like a branding portfolio instead of it being an art portfolio then i decided to just scrap everything and start over again and while i was building my art portfolio some something happened right i entered to be an exhibit and my art ended up being accepted to be part of that exhibit which was great and as my art was accepted to be part of that exhibit which i plan on making a video later on about that experience um something clicked in my head i'm like okay so why why not change my art portfolio to a gallery art shop because the goal of me creating this portfolio was to put my art out there and me putting my art art there, out there is me trying to sell my art so why not actually build a gallery shop where i'll be able to sell my original such as this or my digital artwork then that's how i decided to scrap everything all over again and in q3 which is this quarter i decided to go with this layout and so i did with a rough version which for some reason i don't have like a pdf of that version saved on my computer but when i was asking my friends and family for feedback all of them still loved it because it was something new something excited exciting for them to see um but it's, it was still not like a gallery shop it didn't give you that gallery shop feel and not until i asked one of my web developers friend and he said he liked the layout of my web page however it didn't convey the idea of it being a gallery shop um, as soon as someone log into the page or as soon as, as soon as someone go onto the page and he made an important he gave me an important feedback he said as soon as someone go to your website you need them to actually know what it is about within the five seconds within the first five the first five seconds and 
and yeah that was a bit challenging because i'm like how am i supposed to do that and and then after a, a brainstorming idea from trying different things and trying different layout i came up with the idea of maybe adding a gif of showing or showcasing frame artwork on my banner and that's how this came about and he didn't have the text at first until i showed him the updated version and he said yeah it's still good i get to see that it's frame artwork but i don't know if it's an art gallery or i don't know if it's a gallery shop and he, he also gave me the idea of oh why not inserting text telling people what it is actually and that's how i ended up adding the gallery shop at the banner so as soon as soon as someone comes to the website they will automatically know within the first five seconds that it is a gallery shop and it shows you the 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 little changeable artwork frame artwork so that way you see the style as well that brings me to the first tip that i will ha that, that i will give anyone that's trying to build a website or that's trying to build an art portfolio or that's trying to build anything in general website related that if a stranger go to your website you need them to know within the first five seconds what is that website about when you go to i don't know like asos you already know that it's going to be a clothing brand when you go or a clothing shop um when you go to like any other website the banner already tells you what that website is about so try to implement that whenever you're creating a website that's just my little tip that i'm passing on to the world <laughs> um and as you scroll down you get to see some of my artwork and some the when you hover on the picture it gives you um the frame look of the artwork which is pretty cool and you also give you more details of the artwork such as the name and the price the starting price of the artwork and as you scroll down you see more of this of the artwork and then it's just same same idea and when you click on one of the artwork it brings you back to a single page that describes the artwork and that also showcase the artwork in different frame and different layout which is pretty cool and on the right you will see the size that are available and then i have a button that that says buy on etsy i know i could have implemented like a platform i could have connected with shopify so that way people can buy directly from the website but i did decided not to go that route because my website is fairly new and not many people and not many people know about artsy buttercup so i decided to connect it with etsy so that way people feel comfortable putting their um card information because it's a well-known platform and i'm also able to gauge the traffic there as well um and it gives me a little bit more option and it gives people the peace of mind that they are not putting their their credit card or debit card information on a random website because you know i want people to feel at ease when they are purchasing something and that's one of the main reasons why i decided to actually use etsy instead of just using shopify and connect it to my um brand and you get to choose your um what kind of art you want if you want it to be digitally framed or if you just want the art print by itself and then the pricing are listed below and it also i also give people the options to pick different sizes and yeah um and as you scroll down you get to see some of my old reviews because i used to be on etsy before i used to draw like portraits and things like that on etsy and sell many different things so yeah i'm also thinking of adding a blogging se section but to to talk about art and like you know my experience and also build seo for my website and yeah i know this video was kind of brief not too detailed i didn't go into the software itself the software that i use to build this is the adobe um portfolio website or adobe website builder only because i didn't want to use wix i also didn't want to use squarespace because these come with monthly fees i already had the creative cloud suite by adobe it already comes with a website builder platform for free so i figured why not use it because it's free and i can just work on building the layout of my website at ease and not having to 
not having money coming out of my bank account monthly extra money coming out of my bank account monthly which will just add more stress and i will feel the need to rush and things like that so that's one of the reasons why i decided to take that route but feel free to take whatever route is easier for you if using wigs is better for you obviously use wigs if using squarespace is better for you obviously use squarespace and i know there's a free version of squarespace but don't quote me on that and there are many other platforms that you can use but some of those platforms you might not be able to you to have your own domain um but i wanted to have my own domain and that's why i decided to actually use the website the free version website of adobe if you guys want me to go into more details on how i actually created my website such as um the layout the theme that i use or the template that i use or how i change the font or i or, or how i imported new font into the platform feel free to follow feel free to let me know i can also talk about how i acquired my domain i believe i didn't use host daddy or like those popular domain website i use pork bun um, which is a very reliable domain source and is very convenient and well priced compared to like host daddy and so on because i bought my domain for about 10 years now and i'm very happy and grateful for it and you guys can feel free to check it out and if you want more detail on how i created my website in like the little nitty gritty steps that that i you know enjoyed um i'm happy to share my process with you guys thank you guys for watching i hope you found this video very useful and i'll see you guys on my next video thank you